we'll be looking to generate later on. And it makes sense when we look at these two teams going head-to-head, -head, right? You just mentioned top esports. What we know about this team is, in the past, they tried to pull gold leads before the first 15 minutes of the game. And if you look at this composition lyric, if it gets... This is lyric, also known as George Corby. Also known as a level <laughs> one! <laughs> we have kills already! Let's go! Forget it, dude. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about introductions when you have a one for... Lyric, there is a package for Crying, so Orcs will be happy about it for now. But Knight's taking his ult here. Zoom getting gauge on the side, but Crying burst out. That package not going to do a thing. Kick great though for George, but he just flashes. Re-engage, just comes back in. Zenith flashes away, but now Zoom is an angry croc as Knight used the last of the ulti. The chain lash, the flash leap strong. Knight has coming in on his Silas, especially once he gets the Conqueror fully stacked. That's not going to make it any easier. You are the one with the combat summoner in the Ignite, so he will consistently be able to win these 1v1s. He has using the pressure they generated from Bot. It shall see those in. Through. Mega Inferno Bomb as well. Great pick from uh, Ultra Prime, but they're getting blasted under the entire draw. Helps him with the engage. Wings, look at Chao Pung as well, Lyric. This is the play you want. ZS, well, leap strikes out. Oh no. The plot thickens and. ZS is just dead with a pounce and a leap. Knight's on the way as well. Shousey's next on the menu, boys. And I don't know how they knew about me, but the Urukai do not rest. Shousey next up and five for two lyric. Turret's gonna go down. Oh, I, I, I'm just, I just like the fact that Shousey does the wood and use it back on him. Always nice to see his hacker. Yeah, he's probably dead here, guys. Uh, Jackie Love takes a kill and you that I will just kind of will it into existence, and that means it'll happen. So, okay, Xiao Pung looking for once again, there Xiao you, you did it, man, you did it. Xiao goes in, almost dead as quickly he's arrived. Megan Inferno Bomb's there, Sonic Wave as well to Jackula, but the flash immediately burned. Respect paid him for Ultra Prime. Now they're in a choke, the Zoom's in the back line. Dominus immediately, Knight as well, taking the Jack's ulti. A good trade from ZS as he runs away, but Top Beast bought them mad. You don't take away Xiao Pung without paying the price. And for ZS, there is no escape from this death he's about to receive. This will be kill number eight, folks. It'll be top esports setting themselves up for great positioning. Coming through for the dragon in two minutes. Okay. There's no way. There's no tried. There's no setup to come out from Ultra Prime right now. That's all right. You, you did try to give me something, and I appreciate that the limit there is. I want to also point out there's package. Is, he's been taking his own blue buff, so he's throwing spears while package in hand. But Knight is also level 14, and he's stolen away the real ulti. Two mana knock up for Dwarf, and a Silas with Everfrost. The sun comes down, but it's radiating only for top esports in game number one. Jackie Love kiting away, but a nice little hit from Brian. He finally hits his rockets lyric. That's great. But can top esports, can they get anything more from this fighter's Ultra Prime stand? as a three-man unit. And top eSports surprisingly the same. Yeah, ooh, ZS still looking for a bit more. Board, but Dominus is still available. Knight goes back on in. Ignite down, flash away. Little bit messy from control gold-wise, but Lyric, 30 seconds until the dragon comes up as a 1v1 in the top lane. Starting to benefit the Jax. He's got healing cut now as well. And Zoom at level 16 croc. Level advantage by two might not even matter. Slice and dice away as ZS holds his staff high. Says that he can do it now, Lyric. A big 1v1 that might even increase timing. Old oh, front way with an even in the gauge. Tryon sets up a beautiful package. Knight going golden, but Tryon's on the wing. It's a choke and top esports have to get out of here. Zoom coming in. He's dicey, but Jackie Love still alive. ZS jumping for him, flashes away, matches with the counter strike. A quick QSS. ZS actually dying though. ZS is dead. It's a triple kill. Wait, wait, it's going further. Jackie, freaking love. I'll be totally honest, I cannot believe that TS came away with the win in that team fight. I mean, the package is later on. Yeah, just between the amount of sustain and attack speed he's now. It's good. We got a Baron. Up to 6k damage now. We're going to start looking at Jackie Love, ladies and gentlemen, who's in front of the pit with the wrong guns, but Zoom zoning them off. Baron still the target for top esports, but look, they're scattered. Knight in the middle of four people. Shousey almost taken down with him as Ignite won't tick over. And back there with Mega Inferno Bombs, not enough. And Xiao Pung picks up his might, but the fight continues with Ultra Prime now in the pit for top esports. Numbers advantage. Ultra Prime a split away. Zed is taking the brunt of it for now. Draw with the reengage. The quickness up, down goes the top laner as top esports run for their life. Three versus four lyric. It's in their advantage. And Jackie oh, Love again. Jackie Love. Let's go one more time for the 80 carry of top esports. He's a world champion. Respect the man as top esports run towards crying. And you know what? This corky about to fall off his wings. Well, the fight in the top side's actually for Xiao Pung, but hey, Crying's the one we're going to talk about first. He's dead with Xiao Pung running away. His team can't save him. And that was chaotic, but it's going to be hitting for 
so much. PS will be able to take Pivot off the sea of a wave up in top side as well. Okay. okay. Pivot. But Chelsea's going in. Are they a little bit deep? Golden versus four people. Zoom card save you. Jackie Love give it and Jackie Love take it away. Very classic if you ask me. As Dominus won't save Zoom either. Mega Inferno Bomb as he sits in the middle, tries to heal it up. Slice and dice is not compute. Zedis is coming out from the soul as well. In night, even threatening on the flank angle. He is, but Zedis is going to check it first. Elk finally gets into position with his team. Counter strike there. The package forces oh, out package. of night. Ryan's going on and on him. He's taken away the missile barrage, but as night goes gold, remember he has another stop watching the inventory as well. Second one burned out, but he's about to die. Old time dealt with him well. Xiaoplung over the wall. He gets the corky, but top e are about to lose their jungler as well. Ultra Prime hitting their Marcus shouts. He goes in without the rest of the team. But Chucky Love again. Chucky Love again. He's unhit. He's unhinged. He's Recharge! Jackie Love is Sephiroth! Infernoing! It's Jackie Love's day! As the triple kill comes through and Elk's on the menu, boys! It's meat that won't be the Quadra, but the full blown ace to end needs to be respected. But the inhibitor spawns up. You still have an Abelios lift. 10 seconds on Crying, 7 on Shousey in the bottom lane. But I think it's still gonna be over. We look at the fights. We look at what turned this game for Top Esports, and Jackie Love is giving us goosebumps once again. You know, we're all a meat shield that stands in front of members like Knight, Jackie Love, and Xiaopeng. You know they're going to focus more towards that top side early on with the fact that you do have Ezreal and Victor in your other lanes. Try and get that bit of a snowball. Get on objectives first. Use things like the gravity field to zone out members from Ultra Prime. Wild got his starting spot in 2020. I'm going to pause on that point. Xiao yeah. Pung's making his way around. You wouldn't expect it. Would be level 2. That's a two-man knockup as well. Xiao has gone in. He's ignited and he's dead. Xiao Pung for top esports bottom lane. So, this hacker goes for a bit of a more creative route. Xiao Well, flash is available for Jackie Love. He builds up some Face, but Hacker's now in, George trying to sacrifice. He gets a two-man knockup once again. They try so hard for Jackie Love under the turret, they get him. Hacker. Skirmish before your Chaos Storm is back up anyway. But Chaosi looking for another one. And Draw's just been ignored completely. Level three with heal, and you can see that Arcane Shift, I believe, is already used against the wall once again. Tempest, Cripple, Twall next on the menu. Elf takes him under turret. Chelsea absorbs the perfect amount of targets. Is it that? Because we got some action coming through. Yeah. Whoa, finds oh, engage. Dead. Good. Little package though. Three members against the wall. Xiaopeng at the ready. Look at the fly in lyric. Where did Top Esports go? Right into the garbage bin as Hacker's ready to clean up the rest of the crew. Brian will go down, but Zoom is into enemy hands. He'll survive for now. Ultra Prime get traded back, but Lyric, you wanted them to pull the trigger, and Ultra Prime have been pulling it until the trigger is broken off the handle. Hello, Dwar by Dwar. Ginormous. Dead S as well, the zoning man who's been around for 3,000 years. Jackie Love joins in level 6 on the Ezreal. ZS the target. Ultra Prime with low mana bars, low health bars, and ZS to be taken out first. That's not good. Without those ulties, Lyric, it looks so dangerous. Jackie Love arcane shifting forward. Chelsea punishing him, but the rest of the team are there. Jackie Love dies, and you know what? We know this player to a T as Knight has been Sonic Wave. The resonating strike is not. Oh my god, it's round 3, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ojo's ulted. And Crying caught out in position. Knight gets the kill. Now, Herald gets him to good use. If you remember, Gold's still even. Somehow, after all those plays, Gold's even. Dominus used as the Ram Jam does not hit the mark. And you know what? As an Orn right now, you're in pain. Lane hover up towards top side first if he so wants. Both teams having a little bit of a trade side right now on the map as Knight just chunking out ZS. I mean, heck, dead. Dragon's up in about 40 seconds. ZS. Xiaopeng's in here. He's probably uh, dead. Pounce once again. It's Cougar form all over at 4 0 1. The Magi's. Okay. But Zoom potentially might go down. Does have Dominus and Flash, though. Level 12 as well. Brian has brought the package up here. If you can't use it for the Dragon, well, use it for the big Croc, who is now against the wall. Sun comes down and. Yes, trying to contest. Again. ZS does have teleport available. What is it with this game? Hacker's gonna get it, but there's a flush from Chelsea. They're over the wall. They want Knight this time. He's ignited down to get the shield. Crown doing its work. Rather, it is Luton's, excuse me, but ZS on the flank. The Ram Jam enables Elk to go into the back line and Xiaopeng defending with his might. The poke from crying still hurting, and now Elk, the escape path necessary. ZS as well, fearing charge against the wall. He can't use the hex gate at this point with damage against him. And crying still a huge threat. Four many high damage threats need to worry about. Xiao Pung having Maybe a flash. it starts with a pick. Maybe it starts with a pick. The Sonic Wave is going to end it all. Golden Xiao Pung to buy time, but how does he get out of this? There is no void seeker long enough 
that won't reach. Elk has picked up the first kill, and now Ram Jam once again into the back. That's a bam. ZS is taking up all the damage from Jack Love, but into the front line. Zoom is doing so much. Crikey, where's Steve Irwin when you need him? Crying at the back line, that package zones them off, but Knight is the only one taking damage. Zoom doesn't care. <laughs> Crying tries to burn them again. Jack Love over the wall. Get this dragon for free. The draw might actually be caught out. Draw slowed down and. I'm gonna hold on that for now. Hang on. Zoom has used the hex gate for a flank, but Tommy Fox trying to turn it into their advantage. Dominus used the fight time, but he's getting shredded by the two strongest members. Zoom's just taken down that hex gate. Was absolutely troll. And now Elk repositions. Another member bites the dust. Jackie Love will join Knight. A three-man knockoff doesn't matter anymore. Because Ultra Prime have found their fight. Xiao Pung now against the Orn. He's got burst damage, but not consistent DPS. For Xiaozi, it's his redemption arc trying to get something done. He'll well, look at what Zoom's doing, at least trying to get a trade-off here. He has TP if they want to ambitiously try that flank once again without a hex gate. But Brian's poke's starting to be really scary. You can see that wasn't even a big one in the flank coming into the back line, but Ultra Prime is super deep, and Elf has joined on in. The Kaiser getting out of there, Zoom's out. Better than the namesake on top of eSports, but the ZS, he's getting chunked himself. Jack Killer still doing damage. Krein takes a Mystic shot. Hang on a minute. The 0 5 Ezreal, he can Archon shift forward now as well. Ultra Prime, the health bar the low. All that much has happened a little bit, but Corky just so overwhelmingly powerful when he does have this package. And with this build, you just see what, what one of his rockets just did the Zoom's health bar. Oh, now, but hang on, Ultra Prime, they're getting separated a bit. Package back with Zoom, trying to close the gap, but into the back line. It's done because Hacker is taking care of business and Elk alongside the way. That's a triple kill with Xiao Pung being the next quadra. We're looking for the Penta here, ladies and gentlemen, as Elk has been so big in this game. He went from WE to stardom on the Nexus. Elk looking to get the final kill. Nice buy in time, but it's Penta territory to take us to game number three. Elk just coming out so massive. Two items up on Jackie Love. We've always known the heights of this player. This is why back in the day, WE funneled all of four bot lane. TS's bot lane is quite defensive. Could be quite hard to find any ganks on them with things like the E coming through. I guess top is always there, even though Gragas does have the dash, and especially post six is very annoying to dive because of his. Elk takes a turret shot as well. This draw stands in with the unbreakable. Really good to get the aggro down there. And Lyric, Xiao Pung on the way through. Is that oh, the flashball from Dwar? They want to get Elk. He's exhausted. He's got the close shot on top of him as well. Elk with one more hit, the concussive blow slow him in his place. He's lost both of his summoners. Hacker now on the way in, but the support's gonna die before he can get it on in. Hacker flashes in, but this is the problem because for Xiao Pung, he's given over the second kill to Jackie Love. Stunned in place. Jackie Love, it's not a 0-4 start. It's a 2-0 start for this AD carry. Elk there too, and Lyric, we're not even in the fight, but the poke kick is outraging them. It's hurting us a turret. Xiao Pung's here. The kick again is a two-man. Easily done for the new jungler. Tien, enjoy the bench. Yeah, he knows that hacker. Oh, no, Zoom stays. Zoom stayed. There's no Unleashed Teleport. You could TP if you're not, but you're not doing it. A dive easy done here for Ultra Prime. And he will be the champ moving around the map, so theoretically can try and transfer that advantage into other places. Elk, though. Oh, the kick flash, dead. though. And you know what? Glacial Fisher in between. That is as cold as ice for Ultra Prime. Zero three bottom lane combined. Another double for Jack. The impact on things like Diego, but definitely gonna need to see more from Tien, especially if Shao Pung's gonna work out in this way. Though it is only against Ultra well, Prime. He's the a game busy still boy. not over. He's a busy boy, Lyric. Ignite's gonna go down with the shield boat. Means absolutely nothing. This leads him once again in the right place the right time. Hacker gonna try to take it down though. Oh, Help no, me, he says, but he gets Ooh. a bit of healing with the kill, and now Hacker gonna regret this one. Shao Pung has him up against the wall. The kick not available. He used it. And he picks up a team match between Xiao Pung versus Hacker. Sadly, not able to do anything. Also, might be dead. Might be dead. Let's watch away from Night Shouts and matches with Solar Flare. Trying to get Krine into the fight with Hailstorm. Still kick away. And Knight actually dies. Krine. Xiao Pung show, but Jack has been a benefactor. 4 0 3. Got a lot of kills on the face as well from the early kills. And as Knight comes in with the package, it's just to make sure that mid tower goes in. I also feel like Jackie Love is the hardest person to deal with for the top of the Prime Chelsea, though. Well, he might be dead. Jackie Love sits the line. Hacker goes into the back line. He's trying for something, but remember, you talk about in draft. This is a poke pop. For Ultra Prime, they have to get away. Top Beast was now using Zoom as a bodyguard as Jackie Love is still alive. Xiao Pung's right behind him. 
Zenith can pop the shield bow as well. Oh, Prime. They lose two, but they gain two as well. Zenith open from the map to threaten the Xiaopeng, looking to be a bit cheeky, trying to find ZS. Oh, well, that's not a way to connect. Maybe not even need it. The Dragon's Rage will execute him, but Xiaopeng doesn't have it, nor does he pull up the Ezreal. Jackie Love and I will do quite a lot of kick back Here, look, again. look at this guy. He's clinical. Any more clinical, he'd be putting a COVID booster in my arm. Remember that for top esports, they're going to drag him. They want to pick first. The Shousey's the target at a half HP. The Red Ultra Prime targeted. But Jackie Love's out of the back line. The True Surprise lines them down. It's a good engage from Ultra Prime. It's defensive for Zeus who picks up the kill. Then it's the next. I feel like this fight should squarely be in favor of Top Esports. Can Hacker find some kind of miracle steal though? Going Chaos down. Storm also up for crying. How many wants to go in? Xiaopeng set him away. He goes back in the pit to get the spine down. Xiaopeng went in and out. And I tell you what, it's like going into a Kmart in peak season. Ultra Prime have fled their support. The pitter has to flush away. Top Esports making it a one for one. Yeah, it is quite ridiculous. But like you said, Ooh, wait, Hacker though. Yeah, Might just be more. deleted. Well, True Shot Barrage, it's got him. Hacker sent packing, and uh, there's nothing more to say than. And now Top Esports should be able to just look to push for the close. A clean end is what we want to see. The gold value is in chance. Xiaopeng again, back into the lines as once more this new jungler setting this game three up, and he should be the one to close it through. He gets another kill. He's getting low. Hacker into the back line, but he meets with death. The Chaos Storm, the last great hope for Crying to do something. But as he sees his team fall, he's left around the bodies. Top Esports remain strong and in game three, take this to a close. Crying dodging away, but he ain't near him from the Matrix. He's in the Matrix right now, Lyric is what I'm trying to say. I don't know where I'm going this with this analogy. If you haven't listened to me cast before, it's an absolute shamble like Ultra Prime's game number three and then